listening to Real Guy Radio. How many pro wrestling news websites do you visit to get your daily news? Three, four, maybe five? Do yourself a favor and make that number one. WrestleChat.net, the only professional wrestling news site that brings you all wrestling news all day long and is home of the critically acclaimed Still Real to Us podcast starring former CZW, ROH, and ECW announcer Eric Gargiulo and the champ Jeff Peck. That's WrestleChat.net. WrestleChat, it's where it's at. It's still Welcome, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Stereo Real Test Show for December 15th, 2011, episode number 96. Getting closer and closer to that 100th episode of the Stereo Real Test Show. I am the champ, Jeff Peck, and everybody joy together and welcome me back. By the way, this is the first time in his new home, back to the Stereo Real Test Show, the one and only Eric Arjulo. Eric, how are we, buddy? Oh, I'm doing great, man. I am in the bunker. I've uh, set up a little bunker here uh, in my uh, in my new office space, uh, specifically for the podcast. And I'm here. I'm psyched. I'm ready to go. It's it's been a while. It feels like it's uh, been a hundred shows since we last spoke. Yeah, I think the last time Eric and I did a show together was, in in all terms of what you guys know, would be Thanksgiving. So we recorded two shows the week before. So it's been a good month since uh, you and I have chatted, and a lot's been going on with you. Eric and I were talking before the show about. Uh, settling into your uh, your new home and and yes. everything the process that goes into that um, basically it would be boring radio for anybody that's a wrestling fan but yes. um, you know it's it's the real world and that's what we like to do you know I, I was thinking to myself as the intro was playing Eric could really write a book on this year alone this is a man who uh, has gotten married <laughs> um, right. has a child on the way and has uh, bought a house. You could literally now give advice to any up-and-coming males out there that are uh, looking to start a family, buy a home, and uh, tell it all. A tell-all book by Eric Arjulo. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary, you know. It's um, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes it's funny. My wife and I, we, we always joke with each other whenever we go to, like, an event or something where, where we see, you know, friends or family or people we haven't seen in a while, and they come up to us and they say congratulations. We look at each other because we're not exactly sure what they're congratulating us on. <laughs> we, you know, we usually say, well, is this the kid or the house or the marriage? So, yeah, it's, uh, you know what, Jeff? I just thought to myself, 2011 is going to be it. Never have to get married again. Never have to have another kid again. Never have to buy another house again. I, I joke about all that, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a, a hell of a year. It's been awesome. I mean, far and away the greatest uh, year in my life. Year of my life. Uh, well, next to my last Cage of Death appearance, of course. That's but right. uh, you know, it's just it's just far and away the greatest year of my life. I mean, you just you put so much stuff into perspective. And I'm not going to bore the wrestling fans here, but just on, on a human level. Um, it just gives you, a, a, it, it, you, you really start to understand the, the purpose of, of, of your being, of, of you being alive when you start to do these things. Because, you know, before that, I was just a swinging bachelor that, uh, that, that did wrestling commentary on the weekend. So, uh, yeah, quite a, quite a twist. Yeah, and, and for anybody who's followed along with the show from day one, and especially this year, it's going to be quite a lot of fun to uh, listen back to those old archives. Eric and the Howard Finkel yeah. uh, introduction. Eric taking time off for the wedding, honeymoon, all the stuff here, the, the kid announcement and the house now, the first show there. And uh, 
it's been a pretty big year for you, man. So congratulations to you and your uh, your lovely wife. When you Thanks, do when, when you do write that book, though, the introduction has to be from Luke Cox. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, Jeff. In all honesty, I was just looking for some time off from the Still Real to Us show. I didn't really know how I was gonna be able to pass the mustard there. So I thought, well, you know, you can't tell me no if I'm gonna buy a house. You yeah. can't tell me no if I'm gonna have a kid. And you can't tell me no if I'm gonna go on the honeymoon <laughs> or plan the wedding. I, I'm out of excuses, Jeff. I think you're stuck with me uh, for the for the rest of the uh, life of the show here. That's good, man. That's what we like to hear. And uh, many thanks, of course, along the way to everybody who's filled in for Eric. Uh, yes. As he's taken the time off, uh, Benny Lopez has joined us. Captain Obvious has joined us. So uh, it's good to have uh, talk to those guys on a weekly basis and also have Eric back in the show here. Um, we were talking about before the show, I want to get this out of the way because um, I tested TalkShoe. For anybody who, uh, who doesn't know yet, our 100th episode, January 12th, uh, 2012, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, Eric and I go live for the very first time. It'll be up on TalkShoe. The link is over at the uh, Still Realtor Show fan page on Facebook. Um, you cannot call in from your phone to get into the show. Um, what you'll have to do is you have to get a TalkShoe account and um, let us know when you're ready to go. We'll actually bring you on to the show. Um, it, it's kind of a little bit of a headache, but um, we'll piece it all together when it comes to the 12th. So you just got to uh, get a TalkShoe account, be in the chat room the night of the show, and we'll bring you on to the show. And uh, it should be a lot of fun because it'll be the first time we'll – be able to talk to all the great listeners out there and uh, already hearing a lot of great questions of what people are going to be asking us and, and stuff like that. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And, and it'll be the first time I've done a live show in a long time because the wheelhouse doesn't go live anymore. As long as we've done the show, we haven't gone live. And it'll be the first time in a long time for you, Eric, to also do a live show. So that's that's going to be pretty kick-ass. Absolutely. No, I'm excited. I mean, that's how I cut my teeth uh, on this thing was uh, doing live radio and taking calls for an hour and uh, you know, ju just talking wrestling and having a good time uh, with the good people out there. So uh, I'm excited. I, I really am. I'm, I, you know, January 12th can't come soon enough. Yeah, I can't tease any surprises. I have no idea if anybody's going to surprise us by calling in. I don't. I do know Luke Hawks has promised that he will uh, try to make an appearance during that show. So uh, we're looking forward to it, and uh, hope you guys are as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, this is the last time speaking of which. Um, we kick it in the holiday schedule starting next week with our favorite tag teams. Um, the week after that, the 29th, Eric and I do our uh, wrap-up uh, year-end award show. On the 5th, the first show of 2012, myself and Benny Lopez uh, will be doing our bold predictions for 2012 as we preview and predict 2012. And then we come back to you live 12th, uh, January 12th for the 100th episode. So it'll be, a, it'll be a while since you get this type of format on the Still Real Test show. And um, Eric... And I, when we were sitting down here talking about what we're going to talk about this week, not a lot to talk about, um, which typically, Eric, and, and you've done this a lot longer than me, like you've mentioned, when it comes to wrestling, whether it be blogs or radio that you've done, the month of December is really, really slow for wrestling, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, especially now, because it, it's it's really all about the Royal Rumble at this point. So, And I think most fans know that. So whatever's going on in the WWE they don't really do anything to um, rock the foundation, shake the foundation, so to speak. Um, it's it's really just laying the groundwork right now for the Royal Rumble. And again, it's like it's like going to to see a house. Um, it's pretty boring when you go and watch the the groundwork laid. Uh, but uh, you know the, the beginning stages. But you know you come back and it's built, and you come back around the Royal Rumble, and, and you have your couple of floors built, and you know by the time you get to WrestleMania, you're ready to move right in. So yeah, it's. It's definitely a, a down period uh, right now, but you never know. I mean, remember, Jeff, what was it? Um, two years ago around this time was when Bret Hart came back to the WWE. It was one of all those yeah, rumors, and you had the Monday Night Wars uh, spark. So, you know, it's kind of funny. You, you really never know because, uh, you know, last year it was the same thing. But two years ago, Jeff, um, it was – I think I think you and I were doing the podcast then, weren't we? Uh, we had just started when Bret Hart and the Monday Night Wars had begun. Yeah, so, right I mean – you, you don't expect that stuff, but all of a sudden Hulk Hogan announces he's going to TNA a couple of months later. Hogan's on uh, UFC saying they're going to go uh, on Monday nights. Then all of a sudden you start reading about Bret Hart coming back. So, so you really never know. But as of today, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's pretty, pretty low out there right now, pretty low key. You know what I really find interesting, Eric, and um, you, could, you could attest to this, being in independent promo promotions throughout your career – is when it comes to WWE and TNA, um, it's really slow in the month of December. Granted, when WCW was still around, you had Starcade. That's their big event of the year. So they, they had a lot going on for them. But WWE, TNA has been historically very slow during this month. 
when you look at independent wrestling promotions, this is like the biggest time of the year for these guys to do their big events. You got ROH with Final Battle, um, CCW does uh, the Cage of Death. I mean, it's just crazy how it's so reversed on um, strategic and, and logic for wrestling when the big promotions, they go slow. Independent promotions, they kind of go, you know, full bore, final show, big uh, Wrestlepalooza type event. Do you mm-hmm. think they do that purposely? I mean, you're, you're a guy who did commentary on independent promotions. Do they do that purposely, knowing that WWE TNA, downtime for them, let's get it up, get some people out here to watch a, an amazing independent wrestling show? 